Hello there. I'm sitting here in my living room and I have a presidential candidate here with me sitting in this chair. And Mr. Candidate, there are a couple of things that I'd like to say to you. TV just the other night, written like a Cheshire cat as you spoke unto the light, telling us all about the dawn and of a bright new day. Well, I read your lips, but I don't believe a single thing you say. No, I don't believe a single thing you say. You talk about tomorrow, how things are gonna change, while romance and corporate moguls who paid for your campaign. You say the tax cuts trickle down and jobs will come our way. Well, I read your lips, but I don't believe a single thing you say. No, I don't believe a single thing you say. From what I see, it seems to me you haven't come that far. From the rule of that Rasputin Dick and his idiot cowboys are. You blame the poor and unions for how things got this way. Well, I read your lips, but I don't believe a single thing you say. No, I don't believe a single thing you say. The tune is still the same. The song is getting old. You push for spending cuts with your pockets lined with gold. As the nation's people struggle and get poorer every day. Well, I read your lips, but I don't believe a single thing you say. No, I don't believe a single thing. What's that, Mr. Candidate? You'd like to have equal time? Well, okay. Come and sit down. Hello, America. Vote for me. And send me to the White House in Washington, D.C. I will turn your nation over to the corporations and they will lead us to an age of great prosperity. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. Thank you very much, Mr. Candidate. Appreciate your input. So I'm left here wondering whom you are trying to please. You don't pay your taxes, hide your money overseas. You want our vote tomorrow, you just screwed us yesterday. Well, I read your lips, but I don't believe a single thing you say. No, I don't believe a single thing, not one single thing, I don't believe.